A Myanmar court has found ousted leader Aung San Suu Kyi guilty of electoral fraud. She's sentenced to three years in jail with hard labor. That brings her total jail time to 20 years. The military alleged widespread voter fraud during the November 2020 election, which Ms. Suu Kyi's National League for Democracy resoundingly won. Observers have said that poll was largely free and fair. The military has since cancelled the result and said it uncovered more than 11 million instances of voter fraud. And Leong Waikid tells us what the latest sentence will mean for Ms. Aung San Suu Kyi. Under Myanmar's laws, anyone who breaches electoral offences are subjected to rigorous imprisonment, which is hard labour. Now, people who are uh, sentenced to hard labour don't serve their jail sentences in prison. They're typically driven to far-flung, isolated places around the country uh, to work on places like farms, like you know your, your, your cow farms, fish farms, paddy fields. Uh, Aung San Suu Kyi is 77 years old, and I spoke to various uh, Myanmar contexts yeah, about yeah, this. Uh, one of them said that he thinks it's unlikely that Ms. Suu Kyi will be subjected to hard labour. This is just punishment on paper for the Myanmar army to send a strong message. But another Myanmar observer says, with the Myanmar army, you never know. And there is perhaps reason for making that remark, because not too long ago, Myanmar army chief Minaw Mai had said that Ms. Suu Kyi could be able to serve all her sentences uh, in house arrest instead of in jail. But that's provided her, her, her trials are all complete. But Ms. Suu Kyi still faces more trials, including corruption. But shortly after what the Myanmar army chief said, the Myanmar army allowed Ms. Suu Kyi's house in Yangon to be auctioned off, to be sold off. Now, this is the very house that she spent decades under house arrest in Yangon. You will sometimes see visuals of her standing behind uh, 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 walls to give speeches to people in Yangon. So it does appear that the Myanmar army will say one thing and then do another.